Here is a recap on the phone, educating, emotional, and awesome moments in the Read to Lead House season in various ways. Some schools of thought believe that efforts could be geared towards challenges posed at developmental mechanism. Others, however, believe in comparison, where we put developed, developing, or maybe underdeveloped side by side to really fish out the challenges which could be tackled headlong. Our reading country, they say, is a living one. While it is the other way around with countries where the reading culture is either not promoted or dead. The Reading Awareness Society for Development in Africa, RASDA, a non-governmental organization and non-profit making, has come up with a passion for the promotion of the reading culture in Africa. RASDA has taken steps, great and effective work for that matter, to rigorously campaign against the neglect of books, especially by children and youths in and out of school in Nigeria and across the continent of Africa. Razda's activities have been geared towards the promotion of reading culture that will have a positive impact on the educational system of the country for national development, hence the Read to Lead reality TV show. Another special way of identifying with the youths and stylishly enlisting their support for the reading campaign project. This will catch the interest of the youths as it is created for general family viewing. It is worthy of note also, the Reach to Lead Africa as a motivational star prize of two million naira or dollar equivalent scholarship plus other consolation prizes and it is shown on many TV stations in Nigeria. The show, as the case may be, will open up young audience to a new form of compelling TV, intellectual content, and entertaining in presentation. It will also create a passion for reading among African youths and expose youths to great and inspiring books. Youths should be able to associate reading with leading and also associate academic excellence and success in life with reading. The process for selecting the housemates for the reality TV show is clearly defined. Thousands of senior secondary school students drawn from different schools are selected to participate in the first round of the exercise which involved the first stage examination. 60% is the cutoff mark. The next stage also is where we have another round of reading and oral tests where the participants on the TV reality show are finally selected. Olashori International School Iloko Idisha was the Reach to Lead House in Season 1, where only 17 housemates out of thousands of students came together for the series of activities including contests in cerebral activities like public speaking, writing skills, reading skills, apps and crafts, use of library, fitness exercises, field trips, games and other sports, quiz and debates. When one hears sunshine, the name of that state that readily comes to our mind is Ondo State in Nigeria. Adorned with hills, well-blended rocky terrains, rivers and other natural resources, this state for sure has a lot of things to boast of now and in the future. There's no way we talk about Ondo State. We now remember the likes of Pa and Dekulia Ajaki, the venomous human rights lawyer and activist, Gani Fawemi, White Man's Gulf, the DO, Pa Augustus Adebayo, and a man, T.B. Joshua. One can say unequivocally that Ondo State is a heaven for great destinies. Destiny has kept many stars to be invisible behind the dark glass of fate. Many stars are hidden in hold all around the world today. As fate will have it, Mrs. Bukola Ladoja of Rasda has vowed to pull out these stars and place them where they should be. Emergence of stars, which is how these season three episodes are described or cut, as the case may be, is not unconnected with the various backgrounds these housemates are from. A 
Omala Yuala Tishe was Faraj no more. Had to one go through life with the help of the mother and other siblings. I'm Omala Yuala Tishe, and this is my mom. My father is no more. Mary Aye Jusunle was also described by her parents as a lover of books right from the elementary school days. Her peep into her apartment revealed so many beautiful things about what the future was in stock for her. Her name is Mrs. Aye Jusunle Comfort. She's my mother. Elon Blessing is from Delta State. Blessing stands out among her peers and still standing tall at Fuwashaye Girls Grammar School. This is my father, my mother, and my younger sister. I did my both my nursery school and my primary school in Polish Junior School too. I like reading novels and I like dancing. Ofolabi Doris from Oshun State resides in Rondo with her parents. From what her parents said, one could easily deduce that Doris is one of the greater tomorrows. My name is Afalabi Doris, and this is my father, Afalabi Tumut. This is my mother, Afalabi Margaret. Okwala Pekulia Oluwada Messi could be described as somebody or a student born with the academic silver spoon. The father, engineer Dr. A. A. Okwala, is from Oyo State and the HOD of our Greek Engineering Department of the Federal College of Agriculture, Akure. Let's listen to our parents, and this is coming from our parents at the home front. My parents are Engineer Dr. A.A. Okwala and Mrs. C. Okwala. I usually read in the afternoon around 2 to 4. And just like I live. She used to distinguish herself. She's peculiar and she distinguished herself among her colleagues. One for Esomche is the only student from St. Ellen's Unity Secondary School, Ondo. The father of Bin Alin Wafo is a retired banker, and the mother, Isioma, described her daughter as somebody who will want to be seen with her books all the time, even when sitting close to the dining table. This is my dad, Mr. Obinali Wafo and my mom, Mrs. Sioma Wanfu, and my younger sister, Chinye Wanfu. Blessing has crossed the Rubicon to get this far. With her life story, I remember quite glaringly the title of Eddie Rose's book, Not with a Silver Spoon. My name is Ogazi Blessing. My father is Mr. Uchechuko Ogazi, and this mother is Mrs. Elizabeth Ogazi. This is my younger sister, Stella Ogazi. This is Samuel Ogazi. Moraki Yo Ayo Meposi has been managing through thick and thin to get to where he belongs up there academically, taken care of only by an aged stepmother. Ayo Meposi should not be allowed to be bogged down and out by circumstances beyond his control without a father or mother, yet found his way to the top and this far. Olugun Baba Temitope is a student of St. Jesus College, Ondo. The father is a secondary school teacher and the mother a civil servant. They have a lot of things to share about the academic life of their world. My name is Olugun Baba Temitope from St. Joseph College, Ondo. This is my younger sister. Her name is Olugumaba Gimisola. This is my dad. He is Mr. Olugumaba Jew, John Oju. Onora Oluwatobi is the son of a furniture maker father. The mother is a trader. But as posterity deemed it fit, he was able to beat his peers to it, winning the laurel for qualification to get to this stage. Igedo Jeremiah Destiny has been proving most people wrong, even though the brand could not be described as fair enough, yet 
there were these submissions about him. The name of my younger brother is Sheifumi. The name of my younger sister is Faith. The um, name of my mother is Blessing. I don't know that of my grandmother. Uluwa Sheyi Adumati is another emerging star here in Inondo State. Sheyi has been able to show the world that with determination and commitment, one can go places. The parents and other stakeholders talked about why and how he found this way into this academic platform. Ayemini Mowa Ayokunle Peter, fondly referred to as pastor in the Rick to Lead House. Without a mother, he was and is still able to wade through the potholes and rivers of life to be able to be singled out as one of the stars on Rich to Lead reality TV show. Out of my school and even in the local government, I was able to be the best to represent the Rich to Lead Africa reality TV show. And by the grace of God, I'm looking forward to a better performance. I told the goodness, Joseph. Was vagrant, we can describe as a little bit above average. The conclusion could not be drawn from this. Goodness has been consistent and diligent in his studies as attested to. Ajayi Olariwaju Anthony, his father, writes Okada to make ends meet. Olariwaju did not allow this to dampen his enthusiasm to make it to this level academically. Indeed, an emerging star to watch from what he has said and what other people, including his parents, said about him. Akinche Wedamilola has been tagged the grammarian of her time in the house. In her school, St. Monica's Girls Grammar School, Ondo, she has proved to be a shining academic star as revealed. Dami demonstrates and radiates all the qualities one can always look for in a future leader. Esther Akinche I attend Royal International National Primary School. I was in primary school now. I attend St. Monica's Girls Grammar School. Deborah Gottswill Okire is another emerging star from St. Louis Secondary School, Ondo. The taste of the pudding is in the eating. My name is Gottswill Debra from St. Louis Secondary School. I'm 15. This is my eldest sister, and this is me. And this is my little elder sister. And this. When I wake up, I pray and I do my shows, like maybe washing, sweeping. I can read sometimes. Faduju Becky Oluwashim, whose mother, incidentally, is from Delta State. Let's have these views of those close to her, and your guest could be as good as mine later. 15 years old. This is my mom, this is my younger sister, and this is my other brother. Okay, when I wake up in the morning, after my prayers, I take my bath, brush my teeth, prepare my food. After that, I sweep the whole environment. Okoyemi Blessing, all the way from Lenong Jubilee High School, Ikari Akoko, is about 14 years old. Not allowing whatever fate has in stock for her, disturb her passion for success in her academic pursuit. She weathered the storm to make it to the house. Her parents and other people revealed how she was able to make it to the top. The coming together of the 19 housemates, its positive effects on them. These days of the members of my nuclear family and myself alone promote, if you can agree with me, I'm my opinion and living in general. Now these boys and girls from far and near and from different cultural, financial and educational backgrounds now coming together will afford them to appreciate the basic fact that small or great we are all human beings. Why then the segregation and division and class distinction where 
Those on top of the echelon of the ladder of life will now look down on those who are down there, so to speak. Without missing words, you will agree with me. This is the big and the genesis of our societal problems. And ironically, or do we say inadvertently, the housemates will need to learn some basic lessons of life which they will need as future leaders. We should not always forget we are Africans and jettison our cultural heritage. Doing away with these amount to postponing the evil day. This was emphasized by the housemaster, by George and Miriam, the housemistress, before and while distributing the top apparel for the opening ceremony of the housemates. Officially, welcome to the week. Since I came to Ondo State for this program, in natural fact, that's why we said this year we want, it, we want to have the season three all in Ondo State. Though we have diverse students from other states, who, who are from other states, but principally they are from Ondo State public schools. And I'm the president and founder of an NGO, the Reading Awareness Society for Development in Africa. We started over seven years ago, and what was the vision? The vision was to promote reading culture, to address the dwindling reading culture in Nigeria. And we were using a lot of means to reach out to students, to tell them that, look, you have to read to lead. There's no shortcut to success. I was at Idori. I was moved to the bone marrow when they were going to call the mother of the child from the farm. And this had, me and you, we have everything to take care of our own children. So it's, it's a lesson to all of us that, and I, I had from, from one of them when he was interviewed, he said, my father always encouraged me to read. And who is this father? Some of them, there is one here that is a yellow fever in town here, very popular, a father of, of a child here. You know I'm humble when I, I was in their house at uh, somewhere in Akure here, a slum. And I said, if you can do I won't go down my self is on school. Mean there are things that I'm alone in Africa, Mr. Biggs. So if I said, look, if, if I will sacrifice a uh, gold and sacrifice big clothing to make sure these children they be they become stars, I'm ready. I'm ready for them. And finally, every year we always have a theme. Season two, I remember vividly because it was really, really tug of war between River State and Ocean State. We call it tug of war. But as I was ruminating that, look, this year, Ondo State really supports us. And let me not cheat Ondo State to begin to bring in the federal schools who are showing interest, the unity schools, all the federal schools in Nigeria were so showing interest. I said, let me do it for Ondo first and go for the federal schools later because I don't want anybody to deprive them of the prices. As I was thinking of what the theme of this year would be, I laid on my bed one day. And suddenly, the Holy Spirit spoke. He said, the emergence of stars. And I remember what I saw in some of the homes. I said, truly, these children are stars. Let's come out for sports immediately. So change and come out for sports now. Okay. I feel you. I guess you know. You know it's true. So far, so good. Premier Chino Cerebro, an entertaining reality TV show, is back with season three, The Margins of Stars. For 30 days, 19 housemates of the Reach to Lead House share battle for the grand prize of 2 million naira in scholarship and other fantastic prizes. The contests include Weird Sir Rigman, Spell It, Public Speaking, Declamation Contest, Mambo and Jumbo, Fastest and Best, Critical Reasoning, Mastermind Series, The Great Debate and lots more, plus sports, parties, music, drama and plenty of laughter. Join daily on these channels. 
like us on Facebook and follow us on Twitter. You can also watch episodes on our YouTube channel. Visit www.retoleadafrica.tv or call 0802-315-7972 or 0818-331-9200. Produced by Reading Awareness Society for Development in Africa, RASDA. Read to Lead Africa Season 3. The margins of stars. Don't miss a moment. necessary and of paramount importance in the house with the housemates as the mother stakeholders as usual. Drastic changes were observed the second day as against the previous one as the housemates now came out for sports in footwear for sports. Mr. Suraj Ajiboye delivered a lecture, Suraj. role of ICT in reading culture, dovetailing into digital literacy. 
According to him, the lecture, he said, will be participatory, where the housemates also contributed. Uh, we have Nigerian office, we also have Zimbabwe office and Kenya office. I'm here to present the role of ICT in reading culture. By definition, what does that mean? It means how does um, ICT, is there anyone who does not know the meaning of ICT? Know Yourselves was the topic of the paper delivered by Mr. Kulefa Jopi, who dwelt at length on the fact that there are so many strings attached to who someone is, apart from the names. The session was quite interactive as the housemates contributed and also asked questions. If you know yourself, yeah, then let me see your answer. You feel you know yourself, okay? You also know yourself. You don't know yourself. You are not sure. The morning prayer session was a sight to behold as choruses were rendered and all eyes were closed for prayers and or in pretense. to fish out the potential.
Well, to be strained his arm and was eventually given a card. Not the yellow or the red. You could guess which one. Housemates were at their best as they put to practice what they have been doing regularly in the house, in the community. The relocated Erekasa market was the port of call. The members of the community could not have the feelings of appreciation. Chino Cerebro, an entertaining reality TV show, is back with season three, The Margins of Stars. 
for 30 days, 19 housemates of the Reach to Lead House share battle for the grand prize of 2 million naira in scholarship and other fantastic prizes. The contests include Weird Sir Rigman, Spell It, Public Speaking, Declamation Contest, Mambo Jumbo, Fastest and Best, Critical Reasoning, Mastermind Series, The Great Debate, and lots more, plus sports, parties, music, drama, and plenty of laughter. Join daily on these channels. Like us on Facebook and follow us on Twitter. You can also watch episodes on our YouTube channel. Visit www.retoleadafrica.tv or call 0802-315-7972 or 0818-331-9200. Produced by Reading Awareness Society for Development in Africa, RASDA. Read to Lead Africa Season 3. The Margins of Stars. Don't miss a moment. And now to lecture time with Razda President herself, Mrs. Bukola Ladoja. Reading and comprehension skills. Reading she defined as a process of the brain whereby symbols in a book are interpreted and understood. Also, to Mrs. Bukola Ladoja, skill is the ability to do something. Skill is learned. It is not an inborn trait. What is the meaning of comprehension? Comprehension is when you have been able to adequately interpret the symbol, I mean the, 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 the word into symbols, you have, your mind has been able to interpret it. You've been able to symbolize it with images and the, the physical environment. After days of training, different house tasks, and a beautiful week of fun, ladies and gentlemen, here is the first eviction show from the Read to Lead Africa reality TV show season three, Emergence of Stars. If I should be elevated today, I will feel dejected. I, I will not be happy, normally. Since I, I, I am a person, I can't be happy. I, I'm a human being. I can't, I can't be happy if I'm evicted. And I pray I, I won't be evicted. Ah, sir, for that question, I cannot say back to the sender. Because my vision today is the biggest. I will not be evicted in Jesus' name. That's just the prayer, sir. Everybody see my face on the screen. The first thing that you come to their mind is go and pray for this boy. Three days fasting. I will not be evicted. I don't pray to be evicted, but well, life is our two things, either positive or negative. But normally, um, I will feel, <laughs> in fact, I don't, I don't pray to be evicted. But normally, yeah, there's no need to do. If I am evicted today, um, it's just part of the game. It's just part of the rule of the game. Someone has to win, someone has to lose. So if I, if I have to lose, I have to accept the fact that I lose. Well, if I'm evicted today, uh, I won't feel that sad. But because, because I want to, because I know I've gained a lot. Because I'm better off than many others that are at home. And I'm not here praying with us because I'm in this camp. I've learned about many new things. So I won't be that sad. A little sad. So. If and only if I am um, evicted, I'm not going to be happy to be sincere because I've walked down, let me say, a thousand miles to be here. So I'm not going to be happy if I'm one of the people that will be evicted and I pray that God forbid it. If I'm evicted though I will feel sad but I know that that is not the end of the world. The person that I think will be evicted today is Ayaji Sulemiri. The person that I think will be evicted today is Ayaji Sulemiri. The person that I think will be evicted today is Ayaji Sulemiri. Ayaji Sulemiri. Ayaji Sulemiri. And it's because she has, I don't think she has been to the best of her ability. I would feel bad if I'm evicted today because I don't want to miss out on the dream. I don't want to, like, I'm going to miss what it has and everything. I will not be happy.
from the lowest core. It's sad name, believe me. It's sad name. This is a very jovial person. Very interesting person. Not who you think. Very interesting, very jovial. You always hear me call his name, mention his name, because I really like him and his attitude. Intelligent, very, very intelligent. From a very humble background, too. I am I, very humble. Ajayona Rewaju, you'll be growing, you'll be evicted. This is for him. He's a wonderful boy. Very wonderful, Ajayo. Actually, follow the show. You know Moratio is my boy. I actually look for him. If I can look at him, I go to the to see that he has it. Ladies and gentlemen. Justice to the marking, our judges. This very well. Thank you very much. That person is Adumati Uluashe. Round of applause for The scoring five points as she is. Mary. Mary, you've been evicted from the week to lead house. A round of applause for Mary. Doris, you are safe. Tonight, housemates battle through a critical reasoning. And as always, we have with us our beautiful judges, brilliant judges. A particular group will be evicted today. Might be two girls, might be a boy and a girl. For one group of these two groups will be evicted today. Who will go home today or will be evicted today? So I'll call on um, a name and then you'll know that group is there. I mean, we'll be evicted today. After that, Doris. First clap for her. Definitely, the second person is Alati Shiomolayo. Time starts now. Word, as believed by many people. Distinguished ladies and gentlemen, the bystander may feel guilty for not being able to save the victim. We, we are all equal. We were all equal before the law. Of uh, this place, I would like to encourage everyone here that though everyone at any point in time may be embarrassed, it's not the end of the world. I know that with this speech that I've delivered to you, and which has become a very normalizing to our daily advancing life. In some places where the blood is so much, there is human blood. Then this may lead to the death of the donor of the recipient. Ladies and gentlemen, two of those people will be evicted from the retail lead house. Under Jubeki, you are safe. 
aye mi ni muwa ayo kunle and olugun baba te mi tope even evicted from the way to leave the house. Everyone of It's not Gary. Oh uh, no, the guy is Gary. That one will not draw them. Right. Oh, I thought it said. Is that right? Yeah. Waste. Ah. No, that one will draw you. With this one, you only see them. You only see them coming up, just to to eat. Eat. Wait now. Wait, Shay. Shay, wait. Wait, wait, wait. Wait, it's on you. I've got my mind. Not happy. Not happy. Can we take it? Can we walk down that way? Yes. Okay, talk back. Should I, can I give you the line? Talk back. This is the major library. You, let's go to the second building where arts, engineering, and uh, medical books are stored. The, when you, for example, when you get to your university, because I believe after you must have uh, been through with your secondary education, you go to the higher institutions where you will have access to library. The trip to Italy was a pleasant one. Apart from being a serious cocoa producing zone, the mountainous and rocky terrain, for example, are beautiful things to, to behold. The relocation of Italy from the top of the rocky hills is another thing to ponder on. People now come from far and near to climb the more than 600 steps. No, I told you, I was taking big How is it done? Mommy, how's that? Wow. On the right path, like Professor Wally Shoinka, and the late Nelson Mandela, people who were focused in reading their book. Those who have this treasure are stars, and those who utilize it are, are leading stars. You forgot some of your lines, and it hindered free flow of presentation. But I'm sure you learned a good lesson from what you saw. By my side now, I will want to have a poem blessing. Clap for her, please. And it pains me a lot. Believe me, it really pains me to call by a judge's side. You get your destiny. So you guys can go have your seats. A round of applause for Destiny. Um, I think our evicted housemates they still do not still believe. Shay, you don't believe this. Okay. Emma Pote, Bounto Daraja. Emma Pote, Bounto Daraja. Bobo Wando, Africa. Bobo Wando, Africa. Emma Pote, oh, ah, Emma Pote, oh, to Daraja. Oh, yeah. I'm worried to come, be off at the Ojoya. Hello, Fao. Tony Nibata, one KK. Talk about down on sea. I want none. I want none. I'm sharing bell. 
one month, one month, I'm winning, 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 winning. Hey, yeah, fa, ke fa da da ke no buy fa dun, go buy fa malasi. Hey, she omo me adafun. Oruku tindi tindi, oruku tindi tindi, oruku bi boma bogore lo lentiro kenyo. Hey, ni ba balabule o. Eh, why bank part of all fun? You may go back to your seat. And that leaves us with Uma for Esomchi and Fado Jubeki. You have been evicted as of the Read to Lead Africa reality TV show season three. Machine that has six pulleys. Six. Correct. What instrument is most suitable? Time up. Third position. From Retailing really Africa reality TV show season for emergence of stars is. on Read to Lead Africa Season 3 been like? The experience was interesting and mm -hmm. it was fantastic. It was fantastic. After a 29-day journey, join us on the next episode to know who wears the crown, God's will, Deborah, or Gazi a blessing as the battle in the great debate.